Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will be adding four figures to our collection. These figures were sent to us by some Dan Safarians last week, okay? So we have a Llama and a Fennec Fox right here, which will be added into our Wild Animals collection right here. And over here, we have a Beluga Whale and a Bottlenose Dolphin, which will be added to our Dolphins and Whales collection. So I'm very excited. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? So first figure, let's take a look at this beautiful Beluga Whale from Collecte, a 2012 figure. We just received this like last week. Very, very beautiful, I would say. And you can see this part right here is like soft and puffy. <laughs> very, very adorable. I'm gonna put this Beluga Whale into our right box. If I'm not wrong, we should have a couple of um, Beluga Whales. Let's try to find them. Here's another one which is relatively new as well. We got this from Peppo. Okay, this is figure is actually from Peppo. Beautiful figure as well. Let's try to find more Beluga Whales to add into the box. Here's a tiny little one. So this one is super adorable. And here we have a medium size. Okay, I wouldn't call this a medium size. Perhaps a small size as well. Another Beluga Whale. Let's have a look at what other Beluga Whales we have. There's another one right here, which is from PNSO. Okay, there's one very, very interesting fact about the Beluga Whale. It, does, it doesn't have a dorsal fin, okay? Dorsal fin meaning this fin right here. You can find them on like sharks as well as all cars. But they do have this reach. Yes, this reach, you know, on top of his body instead of a dorsal fin, okay? So that's a very interesting fact about the Beluga Wheel and here's another one. This one, I have no idea which manufacturer actually made this. Probably from Collecte. I mean, this could be a bootleg. You can see this figure looks very much like the Collecte figure. So this is probably a bootleg. Bootleg meaning it is a, an imitation. It's not from the original company. Okay, next up, let's take a look at some of the wild animals. We have a llama. In my previous video, I actually asked whether this is a llama or an alpaca. If you guys know, please let me know down below. And um, I'm not too sure which manufacturer actually produced this. Probably from Peppo. I can't really tell. It doesn't have a logo below it. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, next up, we have a Schleich bottlenose dolphin, I think. We do have a couple of dolphins in our collection, so let's have a look at this one. This is actually from Safari LTD. If I'm not wrong, I got this on my own. There are just way too many figures that you guys have sent me, so it's actually quite difficult for me to to actually remember which one was actually sent um, to you guys, okay? From you guys, I mean. Here's another one from Peppo, really beautiful one as well. I think it should be a bottlenose dolphin, okay? Um, let's try to find a few more bottlenose dolphin. Is this a bottlenose dolphin? I don't think so. Pacific white sided dolphin. So yeah, let's see how many dolphins we actually have, okay? Here's another one. Pretty cute, cute one as well, 1991. So this figure is actually quite some time. And um, what about this one right here? Beluga calf. Yeah, beluga calf is basically a young beluga whale. And here's another one. I think this is a pygmy, pygmy sperm whale. I, I'm not too sure. Let, we'll, we'll have a look at, at it later on again. Okay, this is our first Fennec Fox in our entire collection. Um, it has very, very large ears, so it has amazing hearing abilities. So right here, we have an Indian rhinoceros. It doesn't look like an Af African rhinoceros because of the skin texture. The skin texture looks very crumpled as compared to the white rhinoceros and the African rhinos. They look, they look very, very different to be honest. Okay, let's have a look at, at the other... Okay, I, I think we have covered all the new figures, okay? So let's take a look at all our entire collection. Let's try to find more dolphins. Okay, so this one, it's basically the pygmy sperm whale. 
I'm not exactly sure whether this one is um, a pygmy sperm whale as well. The face doesn't look like, you know, a bottlenose dolphin. So if you guys know, let me know down, down below. It probably, it could be a pilot whale. Who knows? Yeah, this is a pilot whale. So pilot whales, they are known as pilot whales because they swim in pods. Okay, and these pods are basically like group of... Um, I'm trying to find the other pilot whale. Okay, right here, the pilot whales. So pilot whales, they basically swim in groups of pilot whales, okay? And there's always a leader. So the leader is actually known as the pilot. This is why it's known as the pilot whale. Okay, let's have a look at this. What, what do we have right here? This is basically a horse with a pair of wings. And it's known as a pegasus. It is basically a mythical creature, which is according to some myths and legends, which may not be true. So yeah, this is definitely not some, you know, uh, you know, you definitely cannot find this in the zoo for sure. Okay, and um, yes, I'm actually considering of creating a mythical animals channel. I think that will be pretty cool. And here we have a unicorn. Okay. Unicorn is basically like, you know, a horse with a, with a horn in front. Very, very mythical creature as well. Very, very adorable. Uh, and I feel it looks very majestic too. We have a narwhal, narrow, okay? A narwhal, this, this spear right here is actually an overgrown tooth. All right, let's see whether we have more dolphins. This is a Genghis River dolphin. You can see the snout is very, very narrow, okay? Very, very cool. And um, let's take a look at some other wild animals with a pangolin. Pang pangolin, they can be found in Southeast Asia and they are actually endangered. They can be found in my country as well, which is Singapore. And they have the ability to curl themselves up into a protective, you know, ball. And a lot of um, poachers and smugglers are actually smuggling this animal into different countries because they fetch a very high price so the population is declining yep very very scary all right and um we have a bow head whale right here 2014 figure let's take a look at this another whale shark figure right here uh, not another another this is our very first whale shark figure of the day so whale sharks they are basically filter feeder they feed on very very small sea animals such as krill and small little fish all right they are not they do, do not pose any danger to humans they are pretty docile here's another one another whale shark i've actually seen a lot of whale sharks before when i went over to cebu island in the philippines and here's another nail whale figure with the overgrown tooth. Okay, here we have a bottlenose dolphin. As I think this is a bottlenose dolphin. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I guess so. Here we have a brown bear. Okay, and this figure is from PNSO. Very highly detailed. I really love this. Pandars. Yes, pandars. They were at one point endangered and... You know, they were, they were actually native to China, so China have a lot of pandas and the government actually stepped up their, their effort to preserve them um, and um, the population is right now increasing, which is amazing. They are under, you know, protection from the government. Okay, and here's another panda, very adorable. This is a red panda, but they have no relation with the giant pandas, okay? This figure, it's from Safari LTD as well. Beautiful one. Okay, what do we have right here? A blue whale. Right, blue whale, they are huge. Here's another whale, which is huge as well. Gray whale. And all of this circle stuff are actually known as barnacles. Okay, barnacles. Here's another bottlenose dolphin, I suppose. Orca, also known as a killer whale. They are extremely strong. They are basically the apex predators in the sea. All right, let's see what else we have. We have a sea whale right here. A tiny little humpback whale. All right, let's have a look at this. A coyote, guys. We have two red pandas. Ok, 
okay so just now I've actually shown you guys the Indian rhinoceros right here we have another species of rhinoceros right here which is the um, Sumatran rhino awesome okay what is this guys can you please let me know is this I'm not too sure what this is, is this a raccoon or is this a possum it looks very very cuddly and chubby very adorable this is a pygmy hippo pygmy hippo calf it's a very very young baby tapir or tapir they can be found in southeast asia as well so you can see the patterns on their body is actually different Okay, right here we have a big one. This is a bow head wheel. I think we have like two bow head wheels in our collection. A mini sperm wheel. I know that sperm wheels they can be pretty aggressive, and even the orcas are afraid of them. That's what I've read. Here we have another orca. You can see this dorsal fin is extremely long. This should be a mini bow head wheel, I think. Yep. This is known as the Atlantic White Sided Dolphin. It is the only species of dolphin with this very, very beautiful patterns on its body with a yellow stripe across as well. Nair wheel, a mini nair wheel right here. Wow, what is this? A moon bear. Yep, right here you can see it has a right very very beautiful mean and here we have a timber wolf yep 2009 and here we have another wolf figure which I think it's actually from Peppo so they were saying that wolves are basically the ancestors of all dogs pick me hippo looks very adorable and this is a main wolf, which is also from the family of dogs, and they are basically the tallest species of dogs around. Another tap here. Okay, capybara. Capybara is supposedly one of the friendliest animals out there. They are able to mingle they're able to live with a lot of different animals even the crocodiles love the capybaras i was actually watching a video and the capybaras were just hanging out with the crocodiles and the crocodiles were not like attacking them at all which is very very amazing giant anteater right here we have a sloth okay this is basically the um Pick me sperm whale. This is a mink whale. Very nice. And right here, we have another mink whale. So we have a total of two mink whales, but from different manufacturers. This one is actually from Collecte, and this one from Safari LTD. Awesome stuff. Another nair whale. This is another mythical creature, a werewolf. Not a real, you know, living thing. It's basically a mythical creature. Here we have a lemur. With a very long and powerful tail, I would say. Another sloth right here. Sloths are very, very slow moving. And what is this? A pocum pine, I think. Yeah, that's right. So pocum pines, they are actually very, very cool. I've actually seen a video of a lion, a group of lions that was, 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 you know, they were actually trying to take down a pocum pine. But the pocum pine was very, very smart. So he just keeps turning his body and let the spikes face the big cats. And it was able to escape from the lions very, very easily. Skunk, a skunk right here. Skunk, they are able to emit a very, very smelly fluid from the behind and that will actually scare off a lot of, um, you know, predators and also like humans and other animals. I think this is a Tasmanian devil. I'm not too sure. I think so. 
if this is a Tasmanian devil, then it should be in our Australian animals collection. So just now, I've actually shown you guys like, you know, a llama. And this one I think is an alpaca. I think so. I'm not too sure. I really can't tell them apart because they look very, very similar. So if you guys know, let me know down below. This one on the left, is it the llama? And the right one, is it the alpaca? Please let me know down below, okay? Thanks in advance. Another tap here, right here. This is a Bobby Rusa. We have two of them, two exact same figures. So Bobby Rusa, they had to grind their own teeth because it will end up cutting themselves. So they have to grind them on their own. Okay, Arctic Fox. Beautiful white Arctic Fox. They are able to camouflage themselves in the snowy regions very, very easily. Bactrian Camel. Right, Bactrim Camo, it has like two homes, and the two homes are basically used to store food and water. This is probably a blue whale. A warthog, I think. This is known as an art vog. A fox. Okay, from Schleich, beautiful figure. This one, I think, is um, a pretty new figure. Black back jackal. If I'm not wrong, this was also sent to us by a dancer following. Mini wheel shock. So just now I've actually shown you guys like a moon bear. And what is this? Let's have a look at this. This one seems to be very similar. So I think both are moon bears. Another bear right here. A cup. Black bear cup. A dolphin, but I have no idea what species this is. This is a humpback whale. Yep, this is the um, right whale. A huge figure, guys. It's a very, very huge figure. Probably a blue whale. This is an orca for sure. Um, this one is a right whale. You guys know why it is known as the right whale. If you guys know, let me know down below. Okay, I'll let you guys know in a while. This is an armadillo. Another armored animal. Two giant panda cops. This one is a humpback whale for sure. A mini whale shark. Pilot whale. Komodi bear. Another humpback whale. This is what is known as a Bolo. Alright, it's like a pink dolphin. This is the Blame Views Big Whale. Pangolin. We have like two or three of these figures. Panda. A wolf. Where is this from? I think this is actually from PNSO. Bottlenose Dolphin. This is basically known as the Vaquita Purpoise. I think there are like less than 10 left in the world. I haven't done like a research for a long time. So the population, hopefully it has increased. If not, that would be very, very sad. Red Panda. Here's another dolphin. Whale Shark. A dolphin. Another dolphin. But I have no idea what like what are the species of these dolphins. This is a sperm whale. Um, Bowhead Whale, probably a Pygmy Sperm Whale, Beluga, and a um, Bottlenose Dolphin. So, yep, very happy to be adding four new figures to our collection. You can see our box is getting, you know, more crowded right now. Yep, if you guys want to send me a fan mail, you can do so. You can actually go on to the About Arts tab on our YouTube channel. I'll be happy to receive your letters, your drawings, or anything that you want me to review. I'll be happy to do that, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Goodbye.